The truth about being an actor in Hollywood. Welcome to the Acting Career Expert Studio. My name is Dan Warner and that's what we're talking about today. It's a question that comes up a lot. You can find that question online. It's a searchable question. And a lot of people want to know, what's the truth about being an actor in Hollywood? Well, I'm going to tell you my truth about being an actor in Hollywood. Um, I've been an actor for just over 22 years now, and I've been a full-time actor for just over 22 years now, which uh, I am uh, rare. It is, uh, and it was, t and it's been touch and go <laughs> a few times where I thought, oh gosh, maybe I have to go get a job at some point. Um, and then I didn't have to, but uh, it, it's something that actors uh, certainly uh, go through um, when they're a full-time actor, when you're not a series regular, when you're not a movie star, when you don't have millions of dollars in the bank. Um, we're going to talk about all of those things. I do, I do have to brag a little bit, though, about my new website that just opened uh, to new members uh, this week, and it's the actingcareerexpertstudio.com website. You have to go check it out. It is, um, I spent a little over a year uh, putting it together, and it's wonderful. It, I, we've got over 50 uh, video workshops, hours and hours of uh, video workshops. Um, gosh, there's, uh, I'm gonna do live Zoom coaching, uh, hopefully every week uh, for everybody, and um, all your acting questions will be answered. There's gonna be video response feedback, uh, interactive forums. Um, we have a, 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 a strategic career planner. There is uh, a a great community of like-minded actors um, and we've got gosh we've got an audition checklist and we've got a um, audition tracker uh, we've got um, self tape secrets we've got a reader group we've got a uh, nationwide agency directory there's tons and tons of stuff on the site to help move you forward into your next level of acting if you're a new then we want you to start working. If you're working, we want you to work more. And that's our goal at the Acting Career Experts Studio. And like I said, I'll be with, uh, with my group uh, every week, um, live and answering questions and live Q&A and uh, all the stuff. So uh, try, to, uh, try to make it over there. Uh, oh, also, uh, if you join, um, I think we're doing this for a limited time, but um, I'll put up on the screen somewhere. Uh, if you use the code start today, uh, you can join for only $49 a month. Uh, and that gives you access to absolutely everything. So, uh, check it out. Okay. So let's talk about, um, being an actor in Hollywood, the truth about being an actor in Hollywood. Uh, it, you know, it depends on your level. You know, there are a very few, uh, the tiniest percentage of actors. So first of all, there's, uh, there's over 160,000 members of the Screen Actors Guild and less than 5% of them are uh, working actors. Um, and a lot of that percentage, well, there's maybe about 10, or there's less than 10, there's maybe 7%, a large percentage of those are background actors or extras. And so uh, they're lumped in there too. And uh, so the amount of jobs that there are each year versus the amount of actors uh, makes it uh, wildly difficult to be a working actor. I'm not saying you can't do it. Uh, I've done it, um, but uh, it's not easy. But anything worth doing is uh, not easy. If it was easy, Everybody be doing it, they'd be making a whole lot of money. Um, but as a working actor, there's a lot of sitting around. There's a lot of uh, wondering and guessing and uh, hoping and praying and crying and <laughs> all those things. There's, uh, there's a lot of that. And so um, the thing that can prepare you for being a working actor in Hollywood is uh, being a student of your craft and loving it so much, you want you need to have you you want to have to want to do it. 
yeah, you want to have to want to do it. Like you just have to, like it has to be in your being. Um, because if you think, oh, I want to be an actor, and a lot do, uh, a lot join the Screen Actors Guild because they like the idea of being act an actor. Um, they just don't want to put in the effort to be an actor. So there are uh, hundreds of hours of class time and learning and practicing and rehearsing and all the things that you have to do, auditioning, uh, you know, audition for th plays, do theater, do scene study classes, acting technique classes, voiceover classes, dance classes. There's so many things you can do to improve your instrument. And you have to want to do them. You have to need to do them. Um, there are so many actors that uh, work part-time and are part-time actors. And so you have to find a job that will allow you to work part-time and allow you to go on auditions. Now, it's a little different now because we are in the age of self-tapes. So you can do your auditions from home. You don't have to leave work to go to uh, do your audition. Uh, that said, you still have to go to work and then you have to come home and get your audition ready. So there's still, you know, it's still a struggle, but I will tell you in the last two and a half years, it's a little easier for someone who's got a, a part-time or full-time job <clears throat> to uh, audition for work because they can do it from the comfort of their home. That said, you have to get lights because there's times where you work during the day and you have to do your auditions at night and so you have to have a light. Um, you have to know uh, sound, you have to have a good camera or use your phone, have a tripod, have a blank background, you know, your whole self-tape setup. So, uh, and you have to learn how to do that properly. Um, you know, it, 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 it's, I take it for granted sometimes because I, I've been doing it a long time and I know how to do all those things. but. I have to put myself in the shoes of someone who maybe is brand new. And it's like, yeah, you know how to do all those things. I mean, I have, I have friends who have been acting for years. They still struggle with the slate, slating their name. Um, there's actors doing it for years, have trouble with their self-tape setup. And so um, the, str <laughs> the struggle is real. Like, it's, a, it's, not a, it's not an easy thing. But the risk reward, the uh, toil reward is, uh, is wonderful. Um, I've been very fortunate. Uh, I booked some commercials early on in my career, which afforded me the luxury of taking classes and not working, and then I got enough work to sustain. And over the years, built on that. And so that's how I did it. Uh, everyone's path is different. Uh, every audition could change your life. I have uh, videos on that. You should look them up here. I, I, I've done a bunch of videos on uh, auditions that can change your life. And I, I've told the story. <clears throat> so it's, you know, it's not an easy climb and it's a marathon. Uh, it's a marathon up the hill. And it, you know, and there's, there's times where, like I said, I, I was working, 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 things were going well, bought a condo, new car, property, things are great. Cut to seven years later, eight years later, and you know, that money, you know, all that stuff doesn't pay for itself, and the money turns out goes away when the phone stops ringing. And so I had a lull, and so I was like, oh, I had to sell property, oh, I had to sell a car, oh, you know, things happen. Um, there's a there's a fantastic documentary. You've got to you've got to watch this documentary. It's called That Guy Who's in That Thing. That's the name of the documentary. Um, I think that's what it's called. The Guy Who's in That Thing. It's fantastic. It's about exactly what we're talking about. How people who are working actors and work sometimes and then didn't work sometimes. And you know, there was a guy who. Uh, who was taking the bus to auditions when auditions were in person, taking the bus to auditions and then the bus home and then the bus to work and had a bad apartment. Booked a job, booked a series regular part. Um, I think it started out as a guest star recurring and then it turned into series regular. Once he got series regular money, he bought a Mercedes, you know, upgraded his apartment. Things were wonderful. Three years later, he was, I think he, uh, Stupidly, I must say, he leased his Mercedes um, or was making payments on it. And three years later, the show went off the air. 
and uh, when the show goes off the air, all your bills are still, they still come in. And he had no money. His money was running out, running out, running out. Had to give back his car. And after three years of living it up, uh, he was uh, in a, another apartment, a bad apartment, had to give up the place he was in, into a, a, a smaller apartment, a little studio apartment, gave up his Mercedes, and then was taking the bus again to auditions. So famine feast famine is how, uh, is how it went for him. Uh, his story is not unique. Uh, it is uh, a tale that happens to uh, a lot of people uh, in Hollywood. Uh, and I say Hollywood, Los Angeles, New York, you know, it could be just about anywhere, but um, Hollywood is a, a, a good jumping off point for this, this kind of thing, this story. Uh, so it's an uncertain business for sure. Uh, that said, you can uh, grind away at it, get a commercial here, get a commercial there, get some residuals coming in. You know, I've been doing it long enough where I go to the mailbox now and there's, there's resi residual checks in the mail. Um, almost every day, but I've done over 80 television shows and I've done over a hundred commercials. So you get checks that come in, but it took 22 years and I was not, uh, uh, I did not, uh, put my feet up once things started happening. I put the, put the pedal down and, and went for it. More classes, more studying, wanted to do more, do better. I took a filmmaking class learned how to do that, uh, you know, I, just, so it's, it's not all the glam and glitz that uh, they show on TV, the uh, Hollywood actor who uh, runs around in a Porsche convertible and uh, goes to fancy restaurants, you know, lunch at the Ivy, hanging out, three martini lunches and that kind of thing. Uh, can be, uh, has been, uh, was good, but that does not sustain. Uh, again, life is funny and it tends to throw you uh, curveballs. It's got other plans for you, as it were. Um, you know, as a, as a actor in Hollywood, as a working actor in Hollywood or a working actor in Los Angeles, um, you don't have a job, uh, a day job. Uh, and unless you're a series regular, you're waiting for the phone to ring. Now, if you're smart, you're not waiting for the phone to ring. You are, uh, you know, actively, proactively looking for work and uh, sharpening your instrument, um, taking classes and doing uh, all that kind of stuff. However, um, you know, there comes a, a point where you go, well, uh, I've taken, you know, I've taken all the classes that I can take and I've done all the work I can do and I'm just gonna wait for my agent to call and, uh, you know, get an audition and go do it now. And now it's just auditions on tape. So you do them in your home and you send them off and you hope for the best. You go to your mailbox, you collect your checks and you hope that that's enough. Uh, hopefully you haven't gotten a tiger by the tail and you know, uh, uh, you're not living beyond your means. Uh, you've, you've got your bills in check and all of that. Uh, it's a business and I know that's a cliche. It's like show business, but it's, man, it's true. Um, uh, um, Robert Conrad, the great Robert Conrad, and I, I've told this story before, but um, he was a great actor years ago. <clears throat> He's since passed away, but he was a fantastic actor in the 70s. And I saw him on a plane one time uh, on a Southwest Airlines uh, flight. Uh, I had just booked DirecTV. I was making big money. Things were great, but I was on a Southwest flight because it w was cheap. Um, was just flying to Sacramento. Anyway, I get on the plane and there's Robert Conrad and I had to go say, I had to say something to him. I had to talk to him because I felt the urge. So I walked up to him and he was reading his paper. <laughs> it was the best, it was the best thing ever. He's reading his newspaper. So his newspaper's up over his face. I said, Mr. Conrad, and he lowers his paper. I said, hi, my name is Dan Warner. I said, uh, I said I'm, an, I'm an actor and I just, I saw you and I just want to say I really liked your work. Uh, I love your work and um, I'm a big fan and my father loves your work and we used to sit and watch Baba Black Sheep on Sunday night together and he's like, oh, that's really great. I said, yeah, so I just, I'm an actor too. I, I felt like I had to tell him that like twice. I'm like, I'm an actor too, so I just wanted to say I really love your work. He goes, oh, thank you. Save your money, kid. 
and he raises his paper back up over his face. So, the great Robert Conrad, his words of wisdom to some actor who was just starting out is, save your money, kid. And uh, God, he was, he was right. He was, he was really right. Um, anyhow, I, so, I, I, I mean, I guess I could go on and on. I don't want to make this some sort of bleak uh, video, although it might be already. But um, it's not all the, the uh, glam and glitz that it's, uh, that it's portrayed as uh, on television. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of waiting around. There's a lot of, you know, you do other stuff. You preoccupy yourself. If you're smart, you preoccupy yourself with something else creative. Photography, you know, uh, filmmaking, you know, write your own, you know, writing. Write your own stuff. Produce your own stuff. Create your own stuff. Uh, work begets work and activity begets activity. And so if you continue to... The, the, the biggest thing, the, the biggest... Uh, I'd say the worst thing people could do is sit around because sitting around in your own thoughts uh, is uh, not great and it's going to lead to nothing but um, worry and uh, you know am I going to is the phone ever going to ring again am I going to ever act in another job again and that leads to and that's why uh, you know I'm going <clears> to <throat> it's noon I'm going to have a beer I'm going to have a drink I'm going to have a cocktail I'm going to smoke some weed, I'm gonna do whatever. And, you know, people say, oh gosh, you know, all these actors have the drinking problem and drug problem. And it's like, yeah, yeah, they do. Cause they're sitting around uh, in their own thoughts and you go down that dark sort of rabbit hole of, of uh, negativity and uh, doubt and self doubt. And um, yeah, it's easy to uh, have a drinking problem or a drug problem when you are uh, an actor. Because if you're not working a day job, you're just sitting around all day. Like if you had something to do, if you could get up and go to work, then you worked all day and then you came home and you had your day. I mean, when you're busy, you don't have time to do that. But when you're just sitting around, man, and each day, you know, you don't know if it's Wednesday or if it's Friday. Because it's like, oh yeah. Uh, but that's why I think, um, I think throwing yourself into other things is uh, wildly important. Okay, uh, that <laughs> uh, those of you who are still watching, God bless you. Um, uh, I hope you're not uh, crying now and uh, never want to be an actor again. Um, it's it's the it's the best possible career choice that I could have ever made. It's been the best thing I've ever done. It's been the hardest thing I've ever done. But the reward is amazing. Every day on set, every day is my favorite day of the week. You could have a horrible three months and then you book a commercial and you're on the set for one day. That was my best day of the last three months. It makes it all worthwhile. If I have two days on the set, well, that's the best day of probably the year, the best two days. because. It's just the most wonderful thing in the world. Uh, and I, I wish it all upon all of you. I hope you have that feeling where you get off the set and you're like, best day, best day, best day. So if you've had the best day of your life or the best day of your week or month or year on the set, leave me a comment down below. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, leave them down. Okay, here's the deal with all my free videos here on YouTube. I've been a working actor for over 20 years and I've been a coach for many, many years as well. And I put together these videos to flatten the learning curve and take some of the trial and error out of becoming an actor. Like if you're brand new and you don't know where to begin or if you just started acting and you wanna say brush up on some technique, you can just come here, learn from the techniques that I've used to get work as an actor. Now. These are techniques that I've used over the years. They're not opinion and they're not conjecture. They're things that have worked for me. And since the pandemic, acting coaches, gurus, and the like, selling online masterclasses have sort of come out of the woodwork and most have little experience. Not all, but most. They're usually actors who have a few credits. Uh, some were never even actors. They were in some other 
form of the business or some other branch. So they just don't know what it's like to actually go through the entire process of booking a job as an actor. But what they do is they give you some generic fluff, acting buzzwords, and then they charge you money for it. That's not right. Okay, you don't want to spend hours practicing the wrong information, otherwise you'll just get better at doing it wrong. If you have general questions about becoming an actor and you want to know how to get started or you want to refine a technique, I want you to be able to come here and find out for free without paying anybody for it. That's very different from what I do on my paid site, the Acting Career Expert Studio site, with all the workshops and the live Zoom coaching and all the other stuff I have. What I think has value about what I do is that I will teach you step by step how to become a working actor, including but not limited to how to choose an acting coach, uh, you know, how to approach an audition, uh, what to avoid in the industry, which is important, you know, how to improve your self tapes, what to expect when getting a call back, and the list goes on and on. What that does is that prepares you for a career as a working actor. That bit, learning how to best approach the industry and hone your skills with a workable plan, that I think is worth paying for. Now, if you agree, I'd love to have you join us at the Acting Career Expert Studio, which is going to be live very soon. I'm very excited about it. You can uh, go there now and uh, join the wait list. But if not, that's fine too. Don't pay anybody to explain how to become an actor. Just watch my videos here for free. Enjoy.